So I'll show you how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server. We're gonna to go to the Data Explorer here and we'll expand FireDAC, come on here to Microsoft SQL Server. Right now I have nothing defined here. You may have one already. If not, just come here and we'll say Northwind. And it brings up the connection editor with MS SQL selected. So I can come here and the database we're gonna to connect to is on server. Put the server IP address here. Database is gonna be Northwind and SA master key. Don't tell me what my password. All right, I think if I did that right, I hit test. Connection established successfully. At this point, we're able to connect. There's lots of other options here. OS authentication, Mars. You can do uh, control the encryption, uh, default catalog schemas, current catalog schemas, et cetera, is all available too. So once we're done with that, we can come over here and expand Northwind. We see the tables, the views, and the stored procedures. Uh, there's all our views. Here's all our tables. Let's go ahead and make a... Now we'll do a VCL application this time. What the heck? Mix it up. And we'll display our employees. So let's go ahead and select our table. Connect it. And I'll bind it visually. Although it works with either type, any type of binding um, you want to use. If you want to use uh, traditional... Database binding, you can do that as well. And let's hide those non-visual controls. And we'll run this. And there we go, We've connected to SQL Server through Data Explorer, pulled some data down onto a form, created, created an application, and ran it to display to the user. I have installed the native SQL driver on Windows. On the newer versions of Windows usually have an older version of the SQL driver already installed, but for best results, I suggest installing the latest SQL driver from Microsoft.